Hey guys, Thornton here. Welcome back to a new video now today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the championship, a few clubs that are going through financial fair play problems and stuff like that. And also about the Bolton situation right now because I know a lot of you do not understand what's really going on at Bolton. So this video will really help you out to understand what the problems are and what's really going wrong at the club. So... I went on a podcast a few days ago called Good Touch for a Big Lad by Bull Street. They're really nice guys. You should go follow and watch their stuff on audiobook. And also, James Alcott made a video on his channel, which is a little part of the podcast where he talks about the championship. So the link will be in the description to that. And let's carry on this discussion in the comments. How do you think Bolton could sort this out? And how do you think the other championship clubs are dealing with it? Let's see you in the comments and enjoy the podcast. Let's talk about Bolton. Well, yeah. um, you were at the game yesterday. Yeah. The vlog is out right now. Yeah. Um... It was there was a, yeah there was a protest there and we've done a little bit of reading on it and we've also I certainly have gone through those moments where you want to get rid of the chairman and there's problems mm. with money like, and yeah, all those yeah, things. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm wary of treading carefully here yeah. because and and I hope and I'm not saying any Bolton fan is wrong because you know your club. Yeah. I was a little bit confused at. To, why there's such hatred for, is it Ken Anderson, right? Because I yeah. get that, so basically he hasn't got enough money, but he's trying to sell the club, right? Yeah, you're right. Can he do much more than that? <laughs> he's trying to, what, what, the main thing, the only thing you could argue about what you just said is he may be trying to sell the club for too much. Right. A, an amount that not many, not many people are gonna consider. Mm. If he sold it for less, then you're more likely to get an offer and the ownership will change quicker. And the quicker we go, the less, you know, debts that are going to be, you know, because right now, how it is, some wages, wages of the players coming in late, debts are not being paid off. So if he, put, if he sells the club for less and makes less of a profit, mm. you know, th those debts will then be paid off by the next owner, whatever. That's the sort of point of the protest. Right. But with all, I mean, it's January. You know, it was Blue Monday yesterday. Yeah. Surprised, you know, it was the, d the day of... So where did it all go wrong initially then? Okay, well, it doesn't help we're doing pretty poor in the league. Um, we don't have an exciting team. We have a quite League One standard team. Mm. Um, but yeah, you're right though. I, I do feel a bit of bit of sympathy for for the owners because they're doing what they can. Like, wh thing is though, you, no, one, no fans know what's really happening. So it's so hard to t comment on it. Mm. If they're just trying to sell the club and they're getting no, no one's coming in and asking for it, then what can, what can they, they do? Yeah, yeah. What can they do? But no one knows. That's the problem. That's that's the real issue. How much? No. Is, how much is it? Do you know how much I it's? Don't know. I, I wouldn't want to say because you think it's an obscene based on what? I have no idea. Because he's he's been he won't take interviews on it. He kind of puts out uh, little messages on the website. Is that right? For yeah. Okay. So it? yeah, the owner regularly uh, posts statements on the club, um, which is. Yeah, he, he, he likes to, he, to be fair, he does talk to the fans a lot, mm. but Bolton fans are just fed up of it because yeah. he says the same old crap and it's like, and he does it so often, yeah. Right. I mean, it is his own, it's what we said beforehand, is his real, one of the criticism, buying a club where he didn't have the money to take it forward. Was that his biggest mistake in reality? Because it was a consortium, wasn't it? With, it was Dean Holdsworth. Well, he bought yeah. the club for 50p. Right. He took, he took it over when, when there was... Um, when there was problems, and he he's done all right. He's done he's done all right. He's just got his numbers wrong. Right. Financially, he screwed it up. I just I think it's um, if you don't have if you don't have a nice a nice sort of a huge amount of wealth to get you out of the, the sticky periods. But certainly for a team like for a club <coughs> like Bolton, because I think QPR are in the same kind of bracket where where we would be. We've we've spent so much money. <laughs> yeah, as everyone knows. And uh, do you want to do the stat? Uh, <laughs> or is it the Bur the Dortmund yeah. one? The Dortmund one. Yeah. Do you want to give it a go? <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. You like it. Did you know that at one <laughs> point, I think it was what, two three years ago, that QPR had a higher wage bill than Borussia Dortmund? Yeah. And they won the league that year, didn't yeah. they? A little known yeah. fact for Borussia Dortmund. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and yeah, and yeah, like and Dortmund, Dortmund. Uh, like hundred. Atletico. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we spent we spent too much money, and uh, I think this, the same thing goes for the the championships becoming more and more like that. You see the amount of money that oh. Sheffield Wednesday have spent. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. They're in trouble. Mm. But, like, there's something coming with with them in financial fair play. They're mad, aren't they? Birmingham. Yeah. Same thing, spent yeah. way too much money. I read that was there as well. Even you. <laughs> and us as well. Yeah. And, and I think what allows us to get out of it, like, so we're in the middle of a transfer embargo right now. You are, yeah. And we've also spent 
um, we, we've had to pay a fine, which is actually quite a, a small fine in in the grand scheme of things. It could have been like 80 million at one point. They've worked it out and it's about, I think it's about 17 million like over 10 years. So really it's not maybe yeah. that much of a problem for, for the club. But if you, if you don't have, this is Tony Fernandez and then the, you know, the other, the Mattel family who have billions of pounds. Those, so we were, you could write off a lot of the money. If you don't have a chairman, if it's a consortium and they don't have that kind of money, and they take a loan, or they, 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 like I said, they don't have that kind of that bank of safety money. Yeah. You see it at Coventry, you saw it at Portsmouth. They just, Blackpool. you're in massive, mm. massive trouble. Mm-hmm. And the money between the Championship and um, League One, that's getting bigger and bigger now as yeah. well. I think, I think before. <coughs> oh yeah, com- it's if massive. you jump up from it's League massive. One to the Championship. It's really tough to oh stay. Oh god, up. yeah. And you can see, you can see Rotherham, Burton, mm. Yeovil came up uh, yeah, the other, the other season. Down. Even a huge club like Bolton, who are too, are too big for League One, they're always. You would hope that they're always going to be able to bounce back we sooner or later. Straight away. But you're. It, what's 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 so difficult is that when you have to take those dips and you don't have that wealth of money to wash it away and to allow it to start again. Mm. It's such a risky game, these leagues, because yeah. the, the teams at the top, look at that West Brom squad. It's, it's ridiculous. Just, yeah. And look, look at your, your squad. Stoke team. We, we Affleck and Boyan just chilling in the reserves. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. We, we spent 30 God. million. Isn't it crazy? In the yeah. sort of, we sold 27 off, but we, we our, our owners are billion, though. billion, billionaires. Yeah. Billion. They got like well, that's six it. billion. Yeah. The and you've got the well. parachute payments as well, which, yeah. is, which is huge. We had that. We still went in. Well, that's right. but, but that's the risk that, that Middlesbrough are going through right now. That yeah, I mean, there at the end. Wednesday, less We've so, got one of the Hull. I'll say the good thing right now is we we're in slight profit because of that Medine sale to Cardiff, which he's been crap, <laughs> and he's now back on loan in the Championship, Sheffield United. But because of that, we're in a slight profit this year. But we've always been in decline. But our weight bill is very low. Mm. Um, yeah, because we, we just Parkinson's can't done it. a good job, isn't it? Oh, really? Parky's done wonders. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, tactically, you, you know, is football's not the most entertaining, but mentally, to keep those players at a championship level mm. when all of that stuff is happening around the club. For, you know, not Very even this year, last year as well. Yeah. Mm. And to keep, you know, some of the players playing at a high level and the morale, and the, it's, it's amazing. Mm. What he's done under those circumstances is incredible. And mm. I've got to give it to that man. He's done a great job. So two questions. One... What do you hope will happen? Two, what do you think will actually happen? Well, I hope we survive. And I hope, well, I, th- I think in February we've got a few debts to pay up. There's a few deadlines, so we might have a few more problems. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more BBC news stories saying, um, saying stuff like, oh, yeah, the wages of the players haven't been paid. Like the yeah. stuff we've seen a, mm. a while. So what I hope happens is the, a new owners come in. Um, and, I've got, you know, when, when, when the Andersons do leave, uh, and... Uh, I won't be. I, w- I know a lot of the fans will hate on them and all of that. I, they don't, for what they've, they don't have money to spend. Mm. So for what they've done, they've done all right, but they messed up their numbers. Yeah. So I will give it to them. But um, hopefully, what I hope happens is new owners come in, um, they pay off the debts, and we survive this year. Um, because I'm sure we can get this team what we have playing um, when a few of the injuries come back. What I think will happen <coughs> is, I think either we'll stay up in the 21st position. Or Go down it's just really about. Tight, like, it? It's yeah. gonna be very tight, like like ex- exactly like last year, yeah. where we jumped ahead of Burton and Barnsley on the last game of the season with a Wilbraham header. He's like thirty-seven years old. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, I it'll be one of those days late on. And funnily enough, we're playing Nottingham Forest last game of the season, this time away. But look, I can see something like that happening again. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want some more fogged and goodness, <laughs> then head over to uh, to my channel, James Lawrence Allcott channel, because uh, we're going to go through the championship right now and say we're going to look at. My predictions from earlier in the season, which we did a video on, and who we think is going to win the uh, championship. But uh, yeah, I hope you do. I hope it all works out for you, mate. Hopefully. At the bottom. Well, let's go straight into that then. Let's look at the championship. And um, I've sent it to you guys on WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Um, you might have to show it to Theo. Yeah. So there you have it. That's my say and a few of the other lads say on the whole Bolton and championship club situation. It's a very hard time because right now not many, re- not many people really know what's going on. And that's a sad thing. Um, and I just ho- I wish the best for all the clubs that are going through the same problem as Bolton. And of course, I wish the best for my club as well. Um, maybe the best thing in this situation to do is just a quick change of ownership so the next person could just pay off the debts and we can move on and look forward as a club. Because right now, uh, it's not fun, guys. It really isn't nice. But 
Of course, I still go to the game, still support my club through the thick and thin. That's the whole point of supporting a football club. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you down there. Alright, see you later guys.